So welcome back to the next episode of our Disney Legacy Challenge. And although it's been quite a while since we filmed the previous episode, I do know that we are sending Tiana our Gen 3 on her first day of high school. So we were waiting for the high school expansion pack to come out and it came out two weeks ago. So today she is going to be aging up from a child to a teen and then off she goes into the big wide world and we're gonna start making some storylines for her. So let's just jump right in and see what this new pack has to offer us. And let's fingers crossed for no glitches. Okay, so before we start, I wanna show you what I have replaced the Copperdale High School with. I'd like to play with different renovations of the EA builds. We worked with the one from Dr. Ashley over on Twitch. And today we are gonna be looking at this beautiful build by Aniko Bello. Here you can see the gallery ID and my jaw is truly on the floor. I am speechless at how beautiful this building is. How do people have the mindset to tackle such a big build? And the detail? I'm just like, look at this down here. Look Look at these! Everything is just placed so beautifully. I love all the greenery that's just coming through. We have bikes here and then we have even these colorful little bins. I don't know why, but I just find that such a nice little detail. And then we come on through, we have picnic area here and then behind it more grassy areas with more picnic baskets or benches, sorry. And then the main entrance has this big fountain that leads you up to the uh, main building. But on the opposite side, this is where we have the basketball court. <gasps> the tiered seating? Wait, that is so clever! Even with like the graffiti on the sides and this colorful basketball court with the greenery growing up the sides. I'm just, I'm truly lost for words. Okay, let's just jump right in. Okay, so downstairs we have this main entrance here with lockers, trophy cases, and a lot of seating areas. And then we have the toilets down here on the left side, which then come through to this little chess area with some outdoor seating. That's nice. Okay. And then on the opposite side, we have the cafeteria. So this is a much bigger cafeteria, I believe, than what we have currently. I love how it's actually fenced off here with fencing. There's a normal kitchen out the back. And then obviously we have the canteen stuff in the front. I love the random school bags that have been placed around that just gives it a nice atmosphere. And then on the opposite side through here, still in the main entrance area, we have a seating room or a waiting room, which then takes you to the principal's office. Okay. And then we have have our stairs right in front. To the right of it, there's more locker space. And then on the left side, we have, ooh, is this like library or maybe like a little study area? That's useful. Or like maybe this is where the student council would, or like the magazine club, the journalists, and that's where they work from. Okay. And then we come through here and that is, we have an indoor basketball court with more tier seating. And then through the side of it, we have a dance area with the mirrors and then some gym equipment. And then I missed actually the changing rooms on both sides, which is such a cool detail. Look at all of this with the clutter on the floor. That's so clever. Okay. So that is downstairs. Upstairs, we come up through here to another big hallway, lots more lockers. I think we'll give our sim the lockers downstairs, I think just for timing. Okay. Then we have two classrooms here on the left side, classroom one. I think, yeah, this is normally classroom one. I'm going to have so much fun diving into all the details. Next to it is the library with with a wall of books. And then we have some quiet study areas. That's nice. And then behind that we have, Ooh, is this maybe another classroom? But this is for arts. This is cool. Look at this. Look at the detail. Woodworking here. We have some easels, canvases that are stored. I love the light. So colorful and fun. This area here, the way it's framed is absolutely beautiful on a platform. And then lots of art supplies back there. And then across the hall, we have big toilets, lots more toilets upstairs. And then our third classroom, I think which is a music classroom. I get it. Look at all the musical instruments on a stage. Oh, that is so cool. And that is it. That is the beautiful Copperdale High School by Aniko, which you can download on the gallery. I'll leave the gallery ID down below for all the information. Oh, I remember now. Okay, so last time we filmed, we took the family on a little family holiday. They came here to the Salty Paws Saloon, which is a really cute little pub in Brindleton Bay. I think they were enjoying some pita and hummus tapas and they were just having some nice family bonding. So I'll let them finish up their bonding and then Tiana will be aging up hopefully in the next few days so then we can send her to high school. <gasps> Wait, 
I just realized who's here. I didn't even click. This is Drizella. Okay, let's bring her over. Bring up embarrassing childhood moment. Yes. I don't think she gets along with her. So we're gonna do a mean shout forbidden words. Well, I don't want Cinderella to be mean, but I want her to be in a fight with Drizella. Argue about kindness. Well, Cinderella would definitely win that argument. Also, pro tip, just steal all the food when you go to restaurants like this so you can take it home and have it for dinner later. <laughs> all right, Cinderella, look, even Zion is here to protect you. Oh, they don't know what's about to go down. Oh, she's leaving. Wait, she's leaving. No, Cinderella never got her revenge. Damn it. She she knew what was coming for her. Drizella could sense, she could sense it. All right, well, Cinderella will get her revenge one day. Oh, look at these two. Well, while we were here, I just wanted to get them to take a selfie because we actually have new poses. With the update, we have a bunch of new poses. Yes. Look at these two, look at them. True love. Oh, this one looks so professional. These two are well and truly just a power couple. They are a power team. They have been with each other through thick and thin. Wait, just as I'm getting the Sims to dance together, look who shows up. Oh, she seems disgusted by them. Right, here we go. Mean insult. Oh, share emotional burden. No, I think that might be a positive thing. And then argue about kindness. All right, stop dancing, Cinderella. I love how we're having them fight while Cinderella is still here dancing. Why is she like this? I've even exited out this action, but she is still just dancing away whilst trying to insult Anastasia. Oh, okay, we're back home now. If you forgot what the house looks like, here you go. This is what their house looks like. We have 11,000 simoleons, which, let me check how much funds we have actually in the, oh yeah, okay, we don't have a lot of funds in the restaurant, but, the restaurant is still broken. To be honest, I haven't actually tried to fix it yet. I'm still nervous to add any mods to the game whilst The Sims are still rolling out updates because of the original update that broke everything. So I'm withholding any mod downloads until maybe another week or so, which is fine because we're not gonna play with the restaurant anyway. We're not really gonna earn any money through there. Well, at least that's the point. So we're gonna focus on Tiana in the next few episodes. So I'm, I'm gonna save the restaurant until Tiana actually takes it over. For now though, they do have a decent amount of money, enough just to live by. I'm gonna turn on all the lights. Okay, Tiana has school tomorrow. Has she done her homework? Yes. All right, I'm gonna have them all have a quick dinner, go to bed, go to school, work in the morning, and then I think Tiana's aging up in the next two days. <laughs> I was wondering what this was here. From afar, it kind of looked like one of the saucer lights. And I've just realized it's a floating dish. If anyone has any idea or has ever seen this before, please let me know. Was it me or is it the game? Because I do like to drag dishes around, but why is it in this shape? Anyway, we just got the notification saying that it's almost Tiana's birthday, which is great. She has school in right now. <laughs> Oh no, she slept all the way until school. Oh, she actually is a grade, is this a grade A? I think she might be a grade A student. Okay, let's get Zion up and doing a little bit more cooking because I think our fridge is full of stinky things. And then Zion can continue writing his cooking books because that's the only way that we are making money nowadays. <gasps> Gumbo! Ooh, look at all these goodies that we have up here. Okay, well, we can start selling things. Let's do those now. It feels like every video I've had has just been sales pitches and yard sales. I did not expect them to be such a big part of Cinderella and Tiana's storyline. <gasps> no! Zion's suddenly feeling some serious upset stomach. He may have eaten something with meat. Not again. Oh, it's always the gumbo. I always forget that Zion is a vegetarian. Oh, I'm so sorry, Zion. This is cozy though. I love these kinds of cozy work days where Tiana's at school and Zion and Cinderella are just here making money. Zion doing what he absolutely loves and cooking for the family. I think he's making a fruit salad here. We also have bills to pay, which is fine because Cinderella is over here making a lot of money. Yay, we did it! 
good. We got all the way up to 14,000 simoleons. Cinderella, you are too good for this. Okay, so she is done for the day. Let's get her just, to, oh, there's cleaning to be done. Sorry. Polish to perfection. And then let's just get her to chill because she has worked really, really hard. Meanwhile, Zion here, I really do need you to work on your next book, please. If you can write us a motivational book. Oh, I feel bad though because we sent her to school really stinky and hungry. So let's reward her with a brisk shower and then she can have some food and then work on her school project. Oh, look at them. Talk about snow, heartfelt compliment, express love. Become best friends, yay! And teach about responsibility. For dinner, they're having this tofurkey grand meal. Oh, where are you going? Oh, at least they're having a nice family meal together. And then I think tomorrow might be Tiana's last day at school before she starts high school. And then I think it might be Tiana's last day at school tomorrow before she ages up. Oh, look who just curled up on the couch next to her. Oh my goodness, it's like old times. All right, it is the next morning. Tiana is heading to school in an hour. Let's send Cinderella out on her morning jog. All right, we've got more photos to add to our photo wall. Let's review, see if we have any good ones. Oh, we have some awful ones. Eight more. Oh my goodness, we've taken loads. Okay, what do we like from here? I think we like, this is a nice one. Let's do this one. Those are a bit samey and then here. Let's do this one. This is cute. Maybe everything else. Let's delete. Okay, actually, I think I'm gonna change this to be the photo wall so it's all in one space. And I actually think I have a lot of duplicates. So let's. I wish I had taken photos of all the gens. Why didn't I do that? Or maybe I did and I just didn't save them. I think that was from our family vacation. I wish I got a group one of that. And then we have this one here. Okay, perfect. And we'll add to it. I can't keep forgetting to take nice family pictures. I would love one of the three of them, but that's just so hard for some reason to get. It's not an option. <gasps> it's Tiana's birthday today. Yay. Oh, just as we say that she is really showing her age. <laughs> She is aging up. Oh my goodness. Can you, do you think we would be able to get her to high school today? No, I doubt it. It would probably be tomorrow. Okay, let's send her off to school and have Zion make a cake so that when she comes home, she ages up. And then from tomorrow, she can be going to high school. Oh, I'm so excited. We are kind of unofficially moving on to Gen 3 because it's supposed to start from when you are a young adult. She's nearly there. Honestly, she's a straight A student. Like we are, she's already just cruising through life and also with the high school pack just coming out I feel like it's it would be a shame not to make the most of this opportunity usually I really neglect the child and the teen years even I mean actually kind of less so the toddlers because the toddlers at least bring a lot of drama and entertainment but actually with my limited experience of playing the high school pack I was very impressed so I am excited to see what it could bring for us we've got a bit of time today so I'm gonna have both of them do some volunteer activities bake sale beach cleanup nursing home soup kitchen or walk to fight disease let's do a soup kitchen okay now the question is do we want to have a party for Tiana because I am not seeing unless we do make friends we're not seeing any other children in her friendship list at least she's met her aunts Anastasia and Drizella she hasn't met anyone her age oh that's so bad well we could invite our family we have Greta Snow I'm not inviting the sisters hmm Maybe not, actually. She's not sociable enough to have a party, I think. Maybe at high school, she'll kind of break out of her shell a little bit, but I feel like, yeah, she probably would have said, Mom, I don't want a birthday party this year. <gasps> She's home! Okay, Tiana is home. Let's get our cake out. And we can jump into Cass as well. Give her another makeover. There you go. <gasps> Yay! It's birthday time! Yay, happy birthday, Tiana! Welcome to the big wide world! Teenage dumb, romantic travail, sweaty gym shorts, and hormonal upheels await. Best buckle down those boots. The ride starts here. Okay, so she's aged up as a perfectionist, and there are some things that we need to add for Tiana. Let's get up our rules again. Okay, so Gen 3 must have the ambitious trait. Father must die before the end of young adult. Okay. Must have food aspiration, and then marry soon with green. Okay, so food aspiration and ambitious trait. All right, our food aspiration is easy we're gonna do master chef but we don't have an ambitious trait maybe not available for teens yeah what about an over let's do an overachiever yay welcome to the world the world emma she's been around for several 
<laughs> She's been around for a while. Okay, let's jump into Cass and we'll give her a Tiana makeover. All right, I'm taking off all of the accessories, the shoes, the dress. Let's get her in. Something more neutral first. And then I think I wanna start by getting a little bit more of Tiana's body type. She is, okay, at least she's pretty muscular. Maybe a little bit wider shoulders. Okay, so now let's get into the green filter and find her a green dress. We're obviously gonna change the hair as well into an, another updo. I want, I don't know what I want. I don't know whether to go like more formal. We obviously don't wanna do a really fancy green dress, but like how, what, what's the style? Okay, you know what? Considering she's a teen, I feel like something like this could be kind of fun. This with the little heart on her shoulder, it feels a little bit preppy. I'll get another option. I might do several different looks. Although, hang on, it's always better to do the hair and makeup, isn't it, before we duplicate. So let's do an, another updo. Okay, so here's a hairstyle with one bun. I think that's really pretty. I was looking at doing two, but just to stay more accurate to Tiana, I think one bun is probably the best. And I think that looks really pretty. I have a few different options. Also this one here. Ooh, also this one here. Or this one if we wanted to have some hair framing her face. All right, we're gonna do this one here. And makeup, we are doing actually purple eyeshadow, a coral blush, and a red lip. Hang on, I'm actually just gonna give her a little bit more of a point to your chin. Why do I actually love the eyebrows as they are? I love the eyebrows that they've given her naturally. Are these custom content? Yes, of course they are. Her real, her eyebrows here in the animation are much thinner, like more like this. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go with these. Okay, hang on, I'm just changing the lip color. I think this one is a little bit more accurate and I like that it's a little bit glossy. All right, I think we are done now. Are we happy with this as the green dress? Let me duplicate this and see what else we can find. All right, I'm back. It's taken me a while, but I think we're gonna go with this style for Tiana. So I don't know what you call it, but I like how the loafers look down here with the frilly socks and then the preppiness up top. And then for the first look, we're gonna go with this green dress with the same loafers and frilly socks. So that is what we are gonna do for her every day. For her formal, we obviously need a very elegant green dress because this is what she is going to wear for prom. So we need to make sure we get it we get it accurate. I feel like it's gotta be something like this. This feels like a Disney dress with a tiara, which I really don't think we have. Oh, that's so sad. I have flowers and hair clips, but damn. Okay, maybe I need to download that for our, for one, before prom. Oh my goodness, she looks so pretty. Okay, we definitely need the tiara though. That would be just the icing on the cake. I'm gonna quickly go and do the rest of her looks and I will be right back. Okay, Tiana is finished. Let me talk you through the different looks. So you've seen her every day. This is the formal that we went with, just missing the tiara. This is her athletic. I don't know yet what her after school activities are gonna be. So please leave me any suggestions down below of what kind of storyline you want to give Tiana at high school. What kind of activities? Obviously she's gonna be a straight A student or at least we'll try to. And also relationships. Let me know what kind of relationships you wanna pursue and friendships. So here we have her nightwear party wear, which I think is just a simple green dress. That's exactly the right uh, tone of green. And then some black sandals. Hot weather here, which obviously I deleted from the everyday so that we could use elsewhere. And then cold weather. So that is Tiana finished. Let's confirm. I didn't do any nails though. I think maybe we can like go to the spa with Cinderella and get those done together. So we are definitely not gonna have time to send Tiana to school today, which is hilarious because that was the one thing I was super excited for. But at least that gives you all a chance to get involved in the actual storyline. Let me know what kind of student you think Tiana is going to be and her role and her storyline. I can't believe we are moving on to Gen 3 now. It's felt like we had a very extended Gen 2 though, compared to Gen 1. Thank God, Gen 1 was painful. But we are well and truly now working with Tiana as our main sim. And I will see you all again this week on Friday. I will do another episode of Disney Legacy to make up for the one that we missed um, earlier in the week. So stay tuned for the next episode and I will see you all then. Bye. Bye.